I'm Peter Brown from Tiny and Sons Glass. Tiny and Sons Glass was established in 1978 when my father and brother and I were at 575 Washington Street in Pembroke. We're certified and qualified to do all your windshield replacement and repair. Tiny and Sons Glass is a community-based business. We have 12 mobile vans that come to you. If the weather's bad, you can come here to the shop. We have a nice waiting area, TV, Wi-Fi, kid-friendly, pet-friendly. We also can move about 15, 20 cars a day through the shop. Perfect for you when the weather's bad. So come on down to Tiny and Sons Glass if you need your windshield replaced or repaired. Tiny and Sons Glass, 1-888-64-TINYS. Just call. Thank you. Please note that this meeting is being made available to the public through an audio recording which will be used to ensure an accurate record of proceedings produced in the minutes of the meeting. All comments made in open session will be recorded. Um, we do not have anyone participating remotely tonight. Um, first up is 346 Washington Street, but because that's not a public hearing and because we have a fairly simple matter coming up at 7.30, do we have anyone here from Protector Wire? It looks like it. Should I grab the first? Yes, yeah. please. Yeah, but from Protector Wire, are they proposing a, do they have a drawing they're going to show us? They're not changing anything from the original site plan. How do we know that? Okay. Because they're not asking for anything. Hi, are you here for Protector Wire? Yes, Bill Hurley. Hi, Bill. Nice How are you? Nice to meet you tonight. Good. Good. Um, we're taking you guys early because we think it's going to be fairly simple. Um, are you ch making any changes from the site plan that was approved by the planning board? No. From the minor, minor modifications previously approved? We're still working off that drawing? Exactly. We have that right here. Okay. Yeah. If you'd like to take a look at it. Yeah. Well, we just want yeah, to know. I just want to make sure that there's nothing changed. We've been having a lot of business. The three, the three big it's hard to keep track of everybody. No, it's fine. It hasn't been built yet. Yeah, so, it was on the original plan. Mm -hmm. Well, it was on the plan with my, the minor modifications that were approved. Oh, right. Which is, where are they? The yeah. approval of the minor yeah. modifications yeah. was... 2015. And that went through a, um, now this, an this, appeal. This, this revision is dated today, or tomorrow. Yeah. Because they, they just got the variances from the ZBA. Yeah, yeah, from... Yeah, from oh, it's 2017. Okay. Yes, yeah, so that's a year old. We asked him. I've been signing my checks a couple times. Right, so, so that was on the original with this with this proposal, with this whole yes. proposal. And, it, and that went for a, on zoning for a setback, and there's a decision that's recorded. I think you have that. Yeah, yeah we got the back. We have another package. We have a call. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. And there was always the intent. This driveway was created during the initial construction exactly the way it's uh, feeding into the garage. Mm -hmm. So I think the, the delay was the zoning. Okay, I, don't, I, I, I just don't, don't remember it. Right. They came before us in 2015 with a minor yeah. modification to add that. And before the well, how long has the building been there? Since 2010. Really? It's <laughs> amazing. Wow, I was saying five, six years. We still think we're teenagers, so. <laughs> so the purpose of our meeting was to achieve a signature by the board um, for our application. So I'll make a motion that we um, have the clerk sign the routing slip for protect a wire. All right, we'll talk about. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you very much. <clears throat> so given that you guys didn't make any changes from the last time the board reviewed it, we thought we could take care of it quickly. That's what we, we appreciate it. Bring you in rather than wait. And this next one's going to take a while. 26, 2018. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the, year, the year of our Lord. 2018. That's a little controversial, right? I'll have to call you in the As morning. As the weather starts with you, 
Correct. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I'm a radical. We're not. <laughs> We weren't supposed to talk politics, religion, or sports. We kind of what fun is it? I know, that's what I said. What fun is it? You say that about Baz and I go, you know, about all those yeah, things. Oh, <laughs> geez. In the pub. That's about a Sunday dinner. Yeah, right? It's sports. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much, guys. Have a great one. Yeah. Matthew, thank you for your time. Yeah, appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. Yeah. New Orleans. Matt, do you know if Brian's coming? Brian's sport. I doubt it. He's in Massachusetts, too. Yeah. Well, Dan's not coming, Brian's not coming, and Jim probably isn't coming either. And Paul's not going to vote. Uh, I can't, I can't, well, we can, we can, well, we can work, go over we can work through some of the issues. Yes, set for a later issues. time. <coughs> right. Yeah, I mean, I think, I mean, I, I guess we can always do the vote. Is, is Don McGill sure. coming in for um, 745? Yeah. yeah, I think so, yeah. Okay. Yeah. So we have some. An answer. So, we, so have, we have less than a half an hour. Right, well, Mr. Smith, I see Mr. Smith out there. Do you want to let them come in and? Do we have a? Well, let them come in and yeah. I can ask you. I mean, anybody can come in. Anybody at any point. Yeah, we don't necessarily need them. We're a public hearing. I mean, a public committee. Yeah, I mean, they can come in. Anybody can come yeah, in whenever they want. Yeah, there's some of these in the executive session, so. And it may be problematic. They said they can move back and forth tonight, I guess. I didn't know. Church is coming to get a vaccine. Are you the only neighbor? Um, there was supposed to be more, but he only, we're the only two I know of. Oh, you're a neighbor as well. Okay. Yeah. All right, so tonight we were supposed to discuss the conditions that were that were part of the um, approval for 346 Washington Street site plan. Unfortunately, we only have three members of the board who can vote on this tonight because Paul Whitman had already um, abstained because you're because you're in the butter. No, I'm not in the butter. Oh, okay. No. Okay. I abstain because I'm not I'm not going to be uh, running again, and I think this is going to go much further than your term. My term, and I don't want it to get I want it to be resolved by other people. Other people on the board who have to stay responsible. Correct. Okay. Um. So first, I want to check. We had a time period for issuing a decision. Do we have an extension on that on file? Yes, we voted it last time. Yes, I think now the deadline is March 22nd, I believe. Well, because I'm thinking that we may not be able to, if we can't vote the conditions tonight, we're going to have to um, actually have a vote on the conditions at the next meeting, but hopefully we can make progress towards writing the conditions tonight. So we just don't have a quorum for that. Right. We can vote in... We need four people to vote in favor of the, of the yeah. decision with the conditions. So, um, we have some questions here. Yeah, so in your, sort of on top or almost at the top of all your photos, <coughs> um, is the, uh, for it. So the first question is, um, Dan, are you going to have other businesses operated yeah. on the site and are you going to be able to make sure that the other businesses comply with the conditions you were willing to set for your own yes. business? Okay. Um, Absolutely. Yes. Okay, okay. But you do still intend to yeah. lease yeah. that space yeah. to other businesses? Yeah. 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 Three or four oh. and then small okay. 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 The address being shown on the sign for condition number two. So the deputy fire chief's comments about that should be something that the um, building inspector takes up. Takes up with the bike, with the sign. Right. Keep in mind that because there may be some fire risk with the with the mulch and with the amount of wood there, that it is being strongly recommended that you have the address on the signage so that fire engines can find you. 
um, if they're coming from another town. I think everybody in town will know. <laughs> but you yeah. never know if someone's responding to the call from the other town and they don't know, right? Yeah. Um, and that would be addressed in the applicable provisions of the town's bylaws and regulations? Yes. <clears throat> um, condition number five. So the question was on okay. Sunday hours. Yeah. Did you? Yeah, I may have gotten confused about that. I'm not sure. Uh, uh, I thought. Well, why don't we make clear what the what the hours are from the from the top? So we so what was put into the con draft conditions was that the operating hours would be s no later no no more than six to eight on weekdays, excluding holidays. 7.30 to 4.30 on Saturdays, close Sundays and holidays, but pickups and deliveries may take place between 7.30 and 4.30 those days. But And that's just for pickup and delivery, not for retail sale? For retail sale. Um, so that's what pickup... No processing okay. on the weekend. So pickups and deliveries mean retail sale? Just the mulch, and it's a very short window. Okay. Very small season. I don't so, want to be there any more Sundays than I have to be. Yeah. <laughs> <coughs> so we shouldn't say the business shall be closed oh, on Sundays. Oh no. Okay. Just for retail, um, homeowners picking up mulch between 7:30 and 4:30 p.m. So it's retail pickup and delivery. Yeah. Um. Would there be any? So part of the issue here in the sensitivity here of the neighbors is to the truck traffic, right? right? So on Sundays, would there be truck traffic with those pickups? Typically Sundays, it's homeowners with little pickups, little trailers, sometimes uh, the little one-ton dump trucks. It's, it's, it's hard to limit it, but to the size of the vehicle, because you're open, you're open. We can't slam the gate on. But you only be operating your trucks. <coughs> These would be homeowner wanted... vehicles. <coughs> right, correct. Okay. Although we do deliveries. Yeah. That's we, we do do a couple deliveries on Sundays. With a you do truck. on Sundays? Yeah. yeah, so it wouldn't be the 18 wheeler, it would be a, the 10 wheeler. Right, it would be like my wife's little truck there. Yeah, she six wheeler, 10 wheeler. How many yards are in the final little truck? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so they're not creating it and selling it to landscapers or large projects. It's, you know, you, me, and everybody else who has a Sunday, a couple hours, they want to spread some mulch is the, the target there. Because typically contractors wouldn't work on Sunday. Yeah, so it's right. not an issue for right. the. Uh, Correct. And again, when we want to keep it as small as possible, but still serve the customer. And apparently, at the hearing that I unfortunately had to miss, there was some discussion of limiting truck traffic to between 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. Um, well, I think the applicant, was the applicant was talking from 6 to 8 p.m. Yeah. So, and you were the one who had said, well, what about 7 to 7 for the Correct, trucks? because the, the neighbors being right there, that was the reason. Okay. So. How does it work in practice? Our, our, we have a group of landscapers that like to get to work, get out, get their product and get out early. That 6 o'clock start in the mulch season, they're little trucks. They're, they're in and out, very, very small volume, but that, that 6 o'clock start, they can... Sums up early in June. Right, it does. So it's a very short season. But just remember is that you're also opening it up you're opening up for operation in general for that site. Right. Whatever time whatever time you put on it. Whether it's a short season for mulch, it could be the um, Well right, but again that's why I'm thinking you know would you accept, do, do your trucks really leave that early? Do the large excavating machines and every the large and trucks again, leave? Every now and again, they do. They yeah, do. when you're going out and do site work, right. your equipment's not going to be there. It's got to leave to go, yeah. whether you're working a handover or so whatever. Everybody else going up and down yeah. roof, just like us now, going up and down roof. So what happens is they have a few-day job, though, and their mobilization is once. It's not continuous. Mm. So right, right. I mean, once you get the equipment to the site, you leave it at the site yeah. until the work's done. Yeah. And we limited the processing. Any of the processing activities is limited to, I think, 7.30, I think. 
Well, you're talking about during site cleanup. No, nope. uh, entirely any processing, screening. Oh, the screening part. Yeah, any of that sort of activity That's is limited. That's kind of number nine. Oh, yeah, and number no seven, seven, right? Number seven. Oh, and nine. Nope. So the screener yeah. can uh, only seven, be operated seven, between seven thirty yeah. to four thirty. Number seven concerns the cleanup. Number and nine. Number seven is cleanup. Mm -hmm. right. Number nine yeah. concerns the the loan screeners. Okay. And the loan screeners would not be operated on weekends, holidays, day before a holiday, or on the day after a holiday. Um, and that's from the schedule that Bob Rabin gave us. Oh, is that the way the calendar worked out? It's not the day before, the day after a holiday? Actually, you know how like prevailing wage jobs um, working in the public way? I, want, I ran with that schedule. Oh, is that the way it works? I yeah, didn't you know, know that. Right before, yeah, after a holiday. Yeah. Yeah. Right. The day before and the day the, after a public state, holiday, you're on, off. On a state job, yeah. you cannot work the day before, the holiday, and the day after on state highways. To avoid that kind of traffic yeah, problem. Traffic problem. And, right. and you should do that for me too. I think I should get that. If people, <laughs> people are going to pull a long weekend, it's going to be in those those times. Like right. I think if people are going to have days off and be right. at their right. house. Right. Fourth of July <clears> week, <throat> we said nothing. You know. I think so that's, that's very reasonable. Was, well, yeah. it's cause, it gives me an excuse not to do it in those weeks. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So we got the the times of operation. Down. I think so. Do you feel comfortable with that? We got the Sunday issue taken care of there. Okay. You're taking notes, good notes, right? I am. I, I, so I think that we, I don't know that we're going to actually change anything right now. Well, the business will be open on Sundays and holidays for oh, yes, and yes, deliveries. Yes. They take place on those days only between 7.30 a.m. and 4.30 p.m. Yes, yes, okay. Um, <coughs> Well, on Sundays. It'll be closed on holidays, even to retail, right? Or no? I guess it depends what you consider a holiday. No. no. Like, well, Mother's Day would be a holiday that no, would probably no. be. Oh, okay. Be. No. <laughs> uh, no. No. Okay. Uh, Memorial Day, that's a... Oh, I think the loan screening is restricted by holiday. But yeah. not the retail operations? No. Okay. No. Um, so the next thing we have is no wood grinding, wood chipping, mulching operations, or other forms of wood processing or wood waste processing shall take place in the site. No machinery that is comparable in noise or vibration emissions to wood chipping or wood grinding machinery shall be used on the site. Um, I think that's fine the way it is. So just in particular, the last, uh, in the first sentence, no question. But then the second sentence, um, just wanted to run that by you. Um, that you're not, it's not just that we're um, restricting the mulching, but any anything that's sort of comparable in noise, which might be hard to define, but sort of comparable to wood chip or no wood grind, which could be an excessive limitation, I don't know. Or maybe that's what we want. To well, are you going you gonna to allow a stack of that? What's a stacker? You saw the stacker when we went down. The, uh, it's the it part the, with the conveyor belt that allows belt. the pile to get higher. No, they, get, they dump into into a hopper and then it just pushes it up. It lifts it, so right. they can create a pyramid, basically, of soil or mulch or whatever, yeah. and get it to the heights that they need to. Yeah, but that's a, that's an integral that's part of the quite, operation. That's well, machine. that's right. But what I'm getting at is is that you may want to specify that that's an allowed use. Yeah. Because if we have this language. Right, because you don't want it to be misinterpreted as to what you're allowing on that site. Yeah, you're yeah, absolutely right. So maybe that last sentence is overly broad. Yeah, that's what I was concerned about. No machinery that's comparable. How about how about taking it out? Yeah, I think what maybe we take out, but let's. But I see what Matthew's trying to do here, which is to say, you know, wood grinding, wood chipping, mulching operations, other forms of wood processing, or wood waste processing. So here's the here's the problem is that you take out the you, word take out the words mulching operations. I'm thinking we take out the word wood waste processing, like no waste processing, period. Right. And that might be a broader way to state it. After the, so that first off, is that it's also gonna have to take into cont contingency here that you're gonna have to process wood 
to clean up that yeah, site that's, that's, on that site. That's covered. That's, that's another that's the next one. Down. Then number seven yes. specifically says it can be used during cleanup for one year. Wood, wood, uh, wood waste. As long as it specifies wood waste, because theoretically when you screen it alone, right? Yeah, you produce it. You know what I mean? So just, just so that somebody can. This has to do with the grinding. <coughs> Correct. Right. So other than loan screening. I mean, basically the whole operation is a wood use, in, in a way. Wooden loom and uh, probably stone when you're doing your, and sand. But, you know, so, so sometimes when you, you're relating to no wood use, you kind of, it can be open to interpretation as to what you're allowing and not allowing. Mm -hmm. So no grinding on the site after a certain date. Right. To me would be the, be the thing. It won't be allowed on this site after a certain date. And that kind of limits, that takes that machine out of that. And you... you yeah, but we want to make sure there's... Okay. You, know, you see what I'm, what so I'm going? Say, You're allowed to clean the site up with the grinder under certain conditions. So, um... No wood grinding, wood chipping, or other forms of wood processing or waste processing shall take place on the site. site. Full stop. Full stop. Other than a set forth in condition seven. Other than set forth in condition seven. Correct. Okay. And take out that <coughs> last sentence. Uh, can I bring up one other thing? If you insist. All right, I'm going to insist. Because part of this, part of this is processing of trees is going to grow on that. Well, but that's not going to be wood grinding, wood chipping, or wood processing. It's wood it? processing. I you mean, consider that wood processing. Yeah, yeah that's wood it. harvesting. That's harvesting, not processing. Then you're going to all right. Then let's spell it out. There's going to be wood harvesting allowed on that there, mm -hmm. so okay. so that it's clear because the site is going to be okay. That way, there there's no you know people understand he's going to grow trees there. He's going to harvest them. Can be taken off a of site. Okay. All right. So, in accordance with the forestry plan. Right. Yeah. Um. Okay. Are we clear to go to number seven? So, when we said one year, you made a face stand. Yeah. So, I don't know that I can pull that off in a year. So, the, the intent on taking on that property is as an extensive cleanup. Yeah. The way I justified taking on that property was to make that mess into a saleable product, right? Yeah. So there's lots of, you know, we can build one building and then we start sorting through the muck and mire and all the junk. Sorting, separating, just with an excavator, very little sound. Then you sort for two or three, four weeks. Put loam over here, put stumps over here. Then you come in for two or three days and grind them. Then you saw it again. So I don't know if there's a way we can, you know, I don't want to take more of your time down the road, but sit back here again in a year. Yeah, so. And say, how far did Dan make it? Maybe we let the initial be 18 months. Was 18 months like the first, and, yeah. then, and then it could be. So, so I want to get it done as fast as I can without moving product multiple times, yeah. without creating too large a piles. You know, we got limitations to stay within. But I, it's hard to say exactly for sure how long. It's well, there is a provision here that allows you to come back and get it extended. Well, that's what I'm saying. We yeah. just need need some wording there that we can all get but together. But it says extensions may be granted the board's discretion for a period of time not to exceed one additional year. So that gives you two years to clean up the site. Is that enough time? I mean, we've really kind of promised the homeowners that the site cleanup yeah. is, and you know, Part of, I think, where it was, was this idea that it will be a limited period of grinding and then that'll be done. But the thing with the process is, and it's not, I understand you guys, is everybody's per perspective. Right, we're trying to balance I understand, interests yes, here. I completely right? do understand that. I, it's going to be like limited little, you know, you could sort for a month and a half, maybe even two months towards the end, and then grind for three or four days. But there's all that, you know, some stuff is 22 feet of, of material that need to be dealt with. Okay, so let me be honest. My concern is that if there's not a deadline in here... I need, we need the deadline. That, that you're 
of your normal, as nice as of a guy as you are, I understand. Yeah. your no, normal inclination is going to be, I have these other jobs to do, I'm going to put yeah. my site work on hold yeah. because I have paid work over here, right? right? right. And then that well, could I stretch this out. A little bit. Yeah. I know, and I know you have to juggle, yeah. and I know that this is normal business, right? Yeah. So the question is, how do we balance those could, could considerations? We, I kind of think that uh, you kind of have to set a date. You kind of have to say if it's going to be 18 months or two years, because this stuff can be hauled off-site. At some point, the grinding could take place off-site. Correct. And, yeah. and so the idea, because this could go on for five years. This no, could, yeah. you know, they kind of, no, but I'm just saying is that the problem yeah. is, is that uh, people want to have a defined time that they know yeah. it's going to stop. All right? And... and Going on and saying, oh, we can come in for an extension, mm. frankly, is this going to bring the citizens in here complaining about what's going on, mm -hmm. all right, that there was no noise uh, evaluation done on the piece of equipment, and this board has allowed it to carry on and carry on. So I think it has to come to a point where if you haven't got it done in that time frame, it gets hauled off to Nashville to be ground there. Can, can we can we go with his theory and maybe the I think is how you worded it in one we we do with uh, Attorney Norman? Yes, I couldn't remember. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, <laughs> but you worded that well. But can we do the 12 months and then if we need the extension for another 12 months? You come back yeah, and that's we have what's a to come back. Yeah. That's what's uh, in the conditions here. That's that's the best. Yeah. And then at that point, I don't know how your draft reads now. It says extensions may be granted at the board's discretion for a period of time not to exceed one additional year. And so, so if he ended up at the first year and he said another six months, we'd give him six months. But it, and then came back and he said another six months. But that would be it. It's a two-year window. But but you know, keep in mind that at that point, <coughs> everyone's going to have more information. Right. Yeah. Which Maybe is going to be either better or for worse for you, right? right? Yeah. Yeah. Because if you've done it in a way that's respectful, right. you're probably going to have the neighbors less upset with you. Right. If you've done it in a way that they feel yeah, like that. took advantage of it. Yeah. They're going to be in here saying, "Don't give any extensions. Right. Make them haul it off site." Right. Is that fair? Would, would the extension meetings be a necessarily an open meeting? All well, all meetings open. are open. Oh, the question right. is whether or not we would, no one would be give you notice. Um, and mm -hmm. I guess the question is whether we could <coughs> agree yeah. that we, you know, you, you <coughs> pick a couple of representatives that we yeah. notify. Or I mean, or I, I mean, I, I can't speak for anyone too. else on this, for but personally. It, I, I, I agree with you that this, if if there's if people have it in their heads that this is going to go out to two years or more, mm -hmm. there's going to be a lot of a lot of pushback. Right. But if there's a hard stop, personally, I'd rather see an eighteen month hard stop right. than even mess around with extensions. Mm -hmm. Right. I think that would be way more effective. It'd be it'd be fair to everybody. You know, you know. To move on, like, no, no, I understand. You know, I don't want to penalize it. It's a compromise it. between a year plus extensions and your time and your time and having to make your case. I mean, one of the things we could months. do is say six, 18 months with a six month extension rather than a one year extension. Um, so we, we're still at two years either way, but we're not, you know. I see both points and I respect both of them. I just, I'm, it's a lot of stuff. To move. Well, 18 months, months might be better give me two more seasons. So I, don't have to right. yeah, I was going to say 18 months gets you to the fall of 2019. Right. So it's it's getting moved, the, product, the material will get moved once as right. opposed to moving it to Marshville. Now it's moving it four or five Trust times. me, listen, I'm just putting, the and reason I, I said I that is because years. it gives you incentive to get it ground up. Yeah. Uh, well, the problem the with the yeah. problem with allowing extensions is it gives people false yeah. sense of security that I'll get the extension and I'll be able to finish this up, yeah. and therefore I'm going to go take care of this. But the problem is is that these people have to get their lives I understand, yeah. set in the noise level. So I mean, we're not asking you to do uh, remediation, uh, uh, sound. Yeah. So. So step it up and get it done. Correct. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Right. Um, So, Becky, you're, you're noting the changes in Corbia Trail. I am. Okay, I just want to make sure. Okay. Um, session 8. I could actually open the Word document and type it in if you prefer. It's up to you guys. No, that's okay. Uh, 
I just asked you which, which, what, what direction are we going with that, the hard stop or the extension? I thought we were going regime. with the 18 months with a right. six month extension. With a six month extension, so it's a two year window. It all seems reasonable. And there's a hard okay. stop after two years. Okay. Um, and then. Um, Fire code requirements. Yeah, that, that, I think yeah, it's fine, right? Yeah. Just to emphasize the fire code issues. Um, so. I think that's appropriate. Number nine. I think it is. And then number ten. Any comments on number ten? So um, I guess we should be reading these because I take it that no one in the public has them. So we have condition number one, all work is done in conformance with the plans. In fact, I've got one or two more copies if you want. If you want to hand them out. Yeah, yeah. Number two, all signage complies with all applicable provisions of the bylaws and regs. Number three, all vegetation reasonably watered and maintained until established. And if vegetation dies off, petitioner shall plant replacements for the vegetation. <laughs> Provide for water, hours of operation. And number five, we've already discussed. Number six, no wood grinding, wood chipping, um, or other forms of wood processing or waste processing other than is set forth in condition seven. Uh, wood harvesting operations will be permitted in accordance with the forestry plan. Uh, wood chipping, wood grinding may be used during cleanup for a period not to exceed 18 months. Extensions may be granted for a period of time not to exceed six months um, in total. Um, um, number six there, did you reword that one at all? Or yes, we did. Yeah, we, we did. did. We did. So we're going to take out the last sentence on the noise or vibration emissions because it seems too hard to know what that might mean. Um, Number eight, eight is uh, fire code requirements. Nine is loam screeners, topsoil screeners, and comparable machines are restricted to one loam screener and may only take place on weekdays between 7.30 and 4.30. Operation of the vehicles and, vehicles and equipment of the applicant when using a backup alarm shall be equipped with a smart white noise backup alarm using that instead of a normal backup alarm while on the site. Vehicles and equipment of Smith & Sons and other businesses operating at the site. We're going to say, um, while the site plan approval is in effect, shall not use Pleasant Street route of movement to or from the site. Um, the applicant shall make all reasonable efforts to use hydraulic tree shears rather than chainsaws when harvesting trees on the site. Where did that, that was brought up at the last meeting? Yep. Okay. Mulch piles at the site shall not exceed 30 feet in height, 60 feet in width, and 200 feet in length. Uh, bury a wall at least 4 feet high to define the pile's perimeter and prevent creeping. Located is to allow access by firefighting apparatus on all four sides. And a minimum of 20 feet will be maintained between any mulch pile and any other yard equipment, vehicles, or stock. Mulch piles will be monitored for temperature routinely. Yeah, and those came from the fire chief's letter. Okay. And my only question on this is, um, is he going to need a ZPA approval for outdoor storage? Display of goods? Yes. I think the way that was approached was via the was selling product that has something to do with the forestry, agricultural side. That was, that was, because it started off down a different road that was... Um, the initial approach. But I think in, until you actually have agricultural approval, I don't think that would apply until you actually have the chapter 6 order approval. Um, See, this thing kind of morphed on its way down there. So. I, I think I, you probably don't need to go to the CBA. Yeah. Well, we should, we should um, that's, that's kind of a question for your attorney, because we you know, any approval we give is going to be subject to the bylaws. And if yeah. the bylaws require ZBA to give a special permit, then you're going to also have to go do that. Um, protection will be provided for any heat source. 
items that are not buried are coated with material. Um, I take it that came from the, there were various sites of, at the site class A fire extinguishers and the number of extinguishers shall be determined by the authority having jurisdiction and final inspection, which I take it in this case will be the fire department, unless that changes in the meantime. The water supply will be in, court, in accordance with the National Fire Protection Association codes. Um, petitioners shall carry out soil testing as specified by peer review engineer and at locations to be determined by the board's peer review engineer prior to cleanup of the site. Which brings me to the question, the engineering review balance might fall below zero soon. So we'll need that to be replenished. Yeah, we'll take care of that. Okay. Probably tomorrow, I hope. Okay. That um, was already done, I'm sorry. Okay. And I'm sorry for that. Do you want it to, to go back up to the the $6,000 level that I know you had mentioned in the past, you want it to be the policy, or do you just want it to be enough to keep it afloat for now, so to speak? Didn't Bob talk about bringing three? Was that what we last decided? I think that's correct, yeah. Are we okay with three being in the account for now? Or? That would bring it up to about it, five. As, as it gets depleted, it can be replenished, so three should be fine. Yeah. Okay. Um, but keep in mind that there will be peer review along the way, <coughs> so this will get, this is, during the site cleanup, there will be peer review, so that'll keep going. Um, let's try to finish this up if we can. Um, Petitioner shall apply for a curb cut permit for the entrance to Washington Street from DOT. Is that going to be required for sure? I think you just want to, it, it, it already exists, it's yeah. probably grandfathered, but you probably want to make sure. So do we <coughs> want to say that wrong. they have to apply for a curb cut permit or only if required? I think if required. I if required. The one, the one that's there should be, the, yeah. the original should, has always been there. I, yeah. I don't think, they, I think it's just basically the state's going to come out and say, yeah, it's fine. Yeah, yeah. So that's only if required. <coughs> Petitioner shall submit an as built plan with a written statement approved by the board that all the conditions of this vote have been complied with before an occupancy permit shall be issued. The as built plan will be submitted in hard copy and digital form. Um, all site work must comply with existing regulatory town bylaws as to times work may commence and end and to days of week when site work can be conducted. All outstanding comments in the Merrill engineer's letters shall be satisfactorily addressed. With reference to the waivers, the board grants the following waivers. To eliminate the requirement of curbing at edges of all paved surfaces. To eliminate the requirement of a three foot wide planted strip along the foundation. To eliminate the requirement of parking space trees. To eliminate the requirement of vertical granite curbs. And to eliminate the requirement that curbing be placed at the edges of all paved surfaces. Um, so we, like, as we said at the beginning, this was a chance for us to sort of start to go through and clean up the conditions before the <coughs> final board vote, since we don't have a quorum who can vote tonight. We are going to have to put it on the next agenda. Do we have time two weeks from now? That's what I would suggest, yeah, um, for March 12th. March 12th? Yeah, yeah. I think there's something that, that we may, may need to <coughs> I didn't hear it yet, is that during this, um, and I know he keeps a clean site, but the problem is is that during all this um, work that's going to happen on that site, you're going to have a lot of trucks going in and out of a mud hole, all right, where that is going to end up, basically it could come out onto the main road. Mm -hmm. And there should be some type of... Uh, Excuse me, Paul. Is it there a, a truck truck that's added there? There's asphalt following into past that tree. No, I understand that, but you're going to end up with an extremely amount, if you're working in removing all of that, um, something that's going to keep the mud from being on the main drag coming out of that, that site. Um, so what are you proposing, Paul? What's that? So what are you proposing? I think there should be a, a gravel area or something well, that, uh, yeah. you know what I mean? 50 to, by 20 area before the paving where, the, where they can clean the wheel out. Yeah. Just crushed on. You know, so we will pull it out of there and try to reduce it because it's going to be a situation where uh, mm -hmm. trucks will be pulling in, trucks will be going out, and then people Is will this be... just during site construction or... I, the well, I think, it, I think it's something you may, want to, you may want to look at before the when the, when the site's finished. Well, the, 
Well, well, I think when the site is finished, it's going to be, it's, it shouldn't have a problem because <coughs> yeah, all but, of the area is going to be paved. But we don't correct? have to tell them how to do it. Right, Just but that, you, yeah. need, you want to make sure that Oh, it. a reasonable, reasonable effort will be made Correct. to <coughs> minimize minimize the amount of debris material that material. comes out onto the main road. Right. Okay. So we'll um, clean up these conditions before the next meeting. We'll have we'll set you for what time on that night? Do we know? Uh, it could be for 7 o'clock, so that will be March 12th. So, and 7 o'clock on March 12th, we're hoping to have a quorum so that we can vote the conditions. Um, the abutters who are here tonight, was there anything else you wanted us to consider or, in terms of the conditions? I know. No. Thank you. Okay. Just out of curiosity, do you, what do you think about the conditions? Me? Yeah. Uh, uh, I mean, do, do you have any concerns? No, I'm, I'm relieved that there's that there's going to be a time limit on the grinding. Um, I think that the language that was debated about broadening um, grinding operations to to be de more defined is something that's equivalent noise or vibration. But there could be, I understand that might be a little broad, mm -hmm. but um, there could be something like that put back in that's kind of in the middle. Not too broad, but, but also goes to that uh, concern. That, that there be something similar. I mean, I don't think Mr. Smith seems like this kind of guy that's going to be cute about it and say, well, that's not a grinder, that's right. something else right. Right. that's making all that noise. I don't expect that to happen, but just in terms of tightening up the language, right. it could be something in the middle there. All right, well, we'll take a look at that. Yeah. Yeah. I'll try to noodle on it between now and the next meeting. But no, I think together. this is the first I'm seeing them, but to me, I don't have a lot of other concerns. I mean, I, I do hope that through this process we've tried to come to a solution that might work for the abutters and for the, the um, business to establish itself. So let's hope that we found a middle ground that works. Thank you guys for coming out. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, yeah. <laughs> so just to clarify, um, you're, we also, I've also got the board meeting on March 19th, uh, so that will be two Mondays in a row, I think. Um, oh, why are we doing two Mondays in a row? Okay. I mean, it wasn't, you know, the original intention was just to meet, not to meet in the first half of March. Um, so originally, I like I had the first step, like and just the 19th was like the public hearing, and another public hearing continued. Um, oh, so we already have those public hearings set up. Yeah, the so the 19th is already those are uh, we got two that are already set. So I think I don't think we can avoid uh, the two okay. Mondays in a row. Why are we meeting? Okay. Unless you want to meet. What are the public hearings for? Where is it? One is the continuation of 231 Water Street, yeah. and the other one is uh, the new Dominic Price up there. Oh, yeah. Okay. The first okay. one, yeah. Right. Yeah. So um, where is it? So I see we have where, Mr. Where, McGill here where, where for 220 Center Street. I was summoned, so I arrived. But I don't yes. remember why. <laughs> <laughs> so this was, I mean, at this point, some of the board members On the original don't remember, line. but back in either November, December, I think, so the discussion came up, and some of the board members said, "Well, it's yeah, right. time to go to come back and uh, uh, and talk about how 220 South Street is, is progressing." But I'm trying to remember why specifically there was a concern uh, about how it was progressing. Do you recall? Right was there was a, this was a flying concern? Well, there a concern and or? Here. or was it just an update? It's probably not because Brian stopped me in the parking okay, lot and said he loved the building and okay, shook so my hand and thanked me. Okay. At least I was might have been an actor. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. That sounds like an actor. I'm not. <laughs> so. Sounds a little out of character. I know. Okay. What have you done, with Brian? Uh, so, but uh, that's. Uh, but I'm trying to remember. Well, what let's get an up, Well, let's get an update. Yeah. So why don't you just tell us what's going on? Uh, well, we're down to the last. Four found eight, well, three as of tomorrow. So we'll put in the last, uh, the fourth, the, the, I don't know, after this next foundation tomorrow, we'll have three more to go. Hopefully, 
have them up before the or those in the ground before the summer, and um, I love to be out of there by August. You mean fully and, built? Yeah. Finished work and everything. Yeah, yeah, I'd like to be. That's really? it. Yeah, we're we've occupied. Well, we've got, well, we're hopefully. I mean, we're ready to occupy. We've we've sold four, so mm -hmm. we're ready to occupy. I mean, two are just um, we're just wait, they're ready to go. We're just waiting for the site poles to get here and and uh, but they're you know they're essentially all done and the other um, one two two are two are ready for sheetrock the commercial buildings pretty much that that's all sheetrock right. the other two are all sheetrock just doing some finished taping inside so there's four which will be ready in a couple weeks and then uh, then I have um, three framed um, so they'll be in the next do you already have the roads in there and everything? Wait. Yeah, it's all, it's I haven't yeah. tried to drive onto the property. Yeah, well, you yeah. have the gates up, don't you? Don't you yeah, yeah, gate? we have the yeah. gates up. Yeah, yeah. So the top, the, the roads in, um, the roads in, the wells in, the um, the irrigation's not in yet because the ground uh, was frozen solid for, mm -hmm. and we're obviously it's a little too early. We'll do that in hopefully April. And was uh, septic put in before it froze? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Septic is all in. That's all been done, inspected. That is 100% done. Um, the drainage Don't is go up. Don't go with the video. <laughs> um, at least it's not like Britney Spears. <laughs> 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 so that, then I would have some questions. Uh, the, uh, the drainage is, we got a, a portion of the drainage in before the ground froze, but then, you know, December we had that, it was either below zero or you know raining or snow <coughs> for a month and a half so everything we had 30 inches of frost there wasn't a whole lot we were able to do so but, just, uh, but now it's been kind now of it's yes yeah, so now we made a push this the past two weeks we um we've gotten another the drainage basins in so I mean, there are f i think f over 400 on about 380 on site so we've gotten maybe a third of them so in the next but everything else is out of the way that's got to go on the ground so we're really just going to focus on those over the next um couple weeks and hopefully finish that up and then everything else is already the gas is already live the houses are live the electrics there um the sewers all in the i mean the septic's all in the road i mean the drainage is all in the road already it's just the basins have we had peer review out there yep yeah. He, oh, Peter, as far as Merrill. behind you now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. he's, I can feel him. I can feel his presence. Uh, I know his he's, bill. Yeah, he's been out there uh, what, twice, two or three times now? Uh, actually, four. Four times? There three on the first two systems, and then um, actually twice on the one of the uh, roof recharge areas. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. how are we doing, Peter? Is there anything else we should be asking about or thinking about? No, I mean, I, I didn't hear the whole um, presentation, but... Um, they're moving along with the subsurface infiltration for uh, both the roadway and the individual units. So um, basically, that was our responsibility. Okay. So I mean, they're keeping a, the contract has been very good. The site guy, as far as keeping us in the loop. So. Okay. Good. Yeah. So we put up. We're trying to leave stuff open and consolidate so we can get, you know, so we're not making 50 trips. At least try to get yeah. a couple and then backfill. And, and when does your so. landscaping go in? That will probably, I mean, depending on weather, I mean, if we get a snowstorm in, yeah. in March, but um, I'd like to have it in an April, start putting it in, but I'll leave that up to the landscaper when they yeah. when they think it's a, it's a good time. Um, I, I wasn't asking that in terms of jurisdiction. I was just thinking that some of the townsfolk who feel like... Well, it's part of it, though. Well, some of the, the people in town who've sort of been very upset about the... The tree loss. The, tree cutting and all of this that you know when they start to see the landscape yeah. and see it come together yeah. and how beautiful yeah. it's going to be it makes it a little easier to stomach well um, ceiling's taking a little heat off of me on the Boston yeah. connect with <laughs> clear cutting a lot so now <laughs> it's um, I'm a little uh you know, but when yours is landscaped i think it'll take yeah. the heat in general off yeah for sure yeah for sure yeah and believe me i want to get it to that point too because i you know i mean they've been great they've been selling and i haven't advertised yet but I think once the, you know, the, the landscaping gets in and and stuff like that, it'll, you know, to really make a big push and hopefully be out of there quickly. So, um, 
And uh, other than that, we haven't had any, probably have security cameras up. We've had one or two thefts, but other than that, nothing, um, nothing you know. I will say that the, the building in the front, I think, does Looks look great. good. Yeah. yeah. I mean, well, it really yeah. adds to the, that look of a, a historical type look along the roadway there. Yeah, it came out, it came out real nice. I've got a lot of compliments on that. And, yeah. uh, so you know if you had two of those, what would you, you'd get, right? <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, I'd be broken by two of those. I can barely afford one of them. Um, the brick alone. Um, <laughs> have, have you gotten any interest in people going into that space? I mean, just in terms well, we of have, I haven't even I haven't even marketed it because I've been <clears throat> using it as storage. Okay. Um, right now we have, I put that's we're trying to get rid of the trailer because I'm, you know, in the next couple, you know, month or so, I'd like to have people in there. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to get rid of the trailer. So right now that's our... Now that that's locked, we have power and gas and heat in there. That that's now kind of it'd be a, turned into a real estate office for a little bit, huh? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. It looks like there are a few businesses at the corner of uh, one thirty nine and fifty three that may have to leave pretty soon. So I can yeah, that gas those. station under there, clear and all that. Yeah. 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 Um, what are you talking about? So oh, oh well, that, that, it hasn't gone through here though yet. Totally. No, it hasn't. Irving Oil. Right. But the. Um, I've already heard people say, I can't believe they're taking away the coffee shack. I have a spot for it if you let me put in food. I'd love to put sure. in a coffee shop. I think we, we've been less opposed to the idea of food in there than the uh, ZBA has. Right. Well, you, remember, you're going to be competing with Salem because he's going to want to defend stuff. Uh, I'd love to put in a coffee shop, though, but mine's set up where I have that porch that runs all on the back. See? you got to advertise. I, yeah, talk to, yeah. I mean, maybe I'll go to CBA, go back to them, see if I can get a coffee yeah. shop in there. Did, it's a ZBA a decision on coffee shop? Yeah, because we don't allow, we don't allow restaurants. Uh, no, but I thought there was some... No, there was no, actually... No drive-up. I know no drive through, but there was a if you do something. Gracie has the pot on for you. Come on in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think it'll be open. I mean, it's the same track, so it's under the planning board. And I think, I think restaurants, if they're not drive throughs, I think they're allowed, but I'm not sure. Yeah, the special permit, yeah, actually, restaurants um, that aren't drive through. Yeah, so you'd have to go to the well, ZBA. Well, the ZBA, for... they seen a restaurant in the ZBA? No, no, no. We, that, when, they gave the special, when they gave the variances, I think they said you couldn't have a restaurant as part yeah. of the variances. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah. under our special permit granting authority, we're supposed to be able to allow a restaurant. We're the special mm -hmm. permit authority. Yeah, because it's allowed, in spe it's allowed in center protection. With a special permit. With a special permit. Right. As long that was given by us. Right. So that's where we're... Then we have the chicken and egg. We revisit the, the chicken and the egg again, don't we? Not once it's built. <laughs> that's true. Um, Maybe we wait a little while. Yeah, then. yeah. Why don't you wait until I get, get, uh, get it finished and all. But, uh, yeah, so everything's everything's going well there. I haven't... There have been no... I haven't heard any complaints. Once I had to have the guys turn down the radio, but we turn, turn it off. But other than that... Uh, Seems to be no. I haven't had, heard, at least I haven't heard of too any many. too many complaints or any. So. And nothing's coming to this board, right, Matthew? I don't think so. No. I mean, just the the I things I've seen on social media that. about the clear cutting. No, but that's next door. But yeah. that was generated. But then they were saying. I'm just going to put a big sign in front with a finger pointing <laughs> down the road. So people just <laughs> forget them. But some people were upset that between the two yeah. projects. Yeah. Um, that's what happens. Yeah. But. Okay. There's so much that goes. I couldn't. Play. I had a big rock, and I said to my son, "I was like, well, let's bury it somewhere." He goes, "Where? We have there's, you know, it's it's three, three plus enough, acres, but I don't have anywhere to put it." No room for the rock. Put it all fine. Put, put the rock. number on it. Oh, I got enough rocks that I can build a wall in China. Yeah. Uh, but all right. So we actually have something else coming up. It it appears that that there's nothing else that we needed to find right. out about so thank you for coming in all and right. just giving us a little update thanks thank all you. right thanks. feel free to come by anytime too if you want to take a look walk yeah, through there an easier Sorry. meeting you've ever had right uh, <laughs> <laughs> and the cheapest too <laughs> <laughs> no attorneys no nothing all right thank you good night thank you. okay so our next discussion up on the calendar is a discussion relating to parkage draining and septic at the wolfstown field test at 340 oak street possible decision regarding um whether to extend temporary permission to use the additional parking area. I had previously um, recused myself because my son was was playing ball there. He's not involved in ball there at this point, and 
my fellow board members feel that um, there's no conflict. Conflict. conflict because I don't have a financial interest unless my son makes it to the MBA. <laughs> point to this. <laughs> and the odds are? The odds are. I'm they're good. Just, they're, good. Not, they're good. They're good. I'm not going to see this. I didn't know he was a bowler. Huh? I didn't know he was a bowler. <laughs> well, his parents are great athletes. So, so anyway, um, and plus we only have four people here tonight. So it's convenient. Um, so where are we on this? I've, well, I've sort of a lost track a little bit. Letter from RK in here. RK. And are we are we are we looking at extending the temporary permit? Is that what's before us? Do you guys uh, want to maybe just right start by right. updating us on where we are? Um, do you want to go ahead, John? Well, as far as the um, the septic, the septic um, you um, is under not underway, but it's been permitted. <clears throat> the repair plan has an approval from the Board of Health. Uh, John has engaged the services and has a signed contract with the contractor. And based on what he just told me before the meeting, um, they're hoping to break ground in about a week to 10 days on that. Um, as far as the septic, I mean, the site plan design, uh, we had um, proceeded shortly after our last meeting with the board regarding this subject. And then we had to put the plan on hold for a little bit. We were waiting some additional in information from the property owner as well as from uh, from John. The project's back on track and we anticipate submitting at around the end of the month. Um, I don't know where the best place to put this up is. Just as far as the, um, the layout, it, this layout is very similar to what we had shown the board previously. However, we did have to change some of the parking in the front due to the location of the septic system, which is actually Right in this area, there's quite a bit of grading associated with the system because of the high groundwater and extremely poor soils. Mm -hmm. um, we had done quite a bit of soil testing over in this area to no avail. Um, the soil was just awful. It was, all, it was like a clay. It was like pottery clay. So um, again, consequently, this is where the system was approved. It's going to be a pump system. The tankage is here. Pump chamber will be here. And the leaching system kind of comes in this general area. Uh, this layout um, we determined we needed about 158 spaces. With this layout, we have 166 spaces. We're basically coming in to a main drive with no, no parking directly off of the drive so that there won't be any queuing issues. And then the parking is in the front for most of the day-to-day -day operations. And then for any uh, tournaments and so on, we'll be utilizing this parking in this area. We have two exits. Uh, right and left turn only try to expedite people getting out onto Oak Street. Is there any is that is the building being expanded or is that the current size of the building? No, the existing building. Okay. Um, we're not changing the building whatsoever. Um, as far as the grading, uh, we have the reason we haven't submitted the plan yet is we're having somewhat of a challenge with the drainage. Um, currently now the building, this part of the roof and this part of the roof drains. Uh, basically comes off the roof and hits the ground. It's channeled over to here. There's a catch basin here which flows down into this area and all of the existing pavement now just goes out onto Oak Street. It either went out onto Oak Street or down a, um, a swale towards the front of the site. Um, we really can't tell. Um, the area was disturbed by the time we went out and did the survey, I think as the board remembers. But based on the USGS maps, um, previous uh, plans that we have in the office, well, back actually when it was a uh, tennis courts, a tennis club, that was the direction of flow. And then the rest of the drainage would come down into this area and into a drainage swell which flowed down here. And then there's a 10 inch pipe which heads down in this direction. Um, and that's what the holdup is. So it's, it's kind of a challenge to, to meet the requirements for the DEP stormwater management recharge and attenuation of flows, particularly with the soils being so poor. Mm -hmm. um, and as far as the grading, this is um, the grading as it stands to date. Um, most of the runoff will come down into this area. Again, here's the septic system. It'll come down here. What I'm looking at now is pulling most of the drainage from the roof in this part of the parking lot down into here 
and creating the stormwater basin along the existing drainage ditch. The front portion will flow down into this direction. This paved area will flow overland into these two stormwater basins and then discharge into an existing swale which discharges down onto this property. Um, I don't think we'll be able to have a problem uh, meeting the existing, uh, the pre-existing condition because there were tennis courts there and this the, the pavement's about the same. The tennis courts were here. Um, we're not going to. We're going to assume that it was all grass. No, no tennis courts. That'll be kind of worst case scenario as far as the stormwater. Um, and that's about where we are. The, the the pipe that comes down on the left side is that going to go into here. the stopping on the the other side? The I'm front sorry. down here. My left. Yes. Um, is that um. Is that going on to the stop and shop property? It'll go on to the stop and shop property a flow less than currently exists. Okay. okay. Uh, As I, I said before, I, I, I don't know whether it came all the way on to Oak Street. Um, as I said, we're, it's difficult tracking down the stormwater system. It's actually a state system on Oak Street, mm -hmm. which comes down and it empties into these uh, stormwater basin right behind the uh, gas station. Right which handles the, um, the interchange and a good portion of Oak Street. Oh, okay. um, now, we can't, we can't tie into that. The right. state won't let you do that. So yeah. um, I do think before it either flowed over land and onto Oak Street, or um, these um, riprap swale areas, they lead me to believe it did go over land, come down that side slope. I, um, we don't have any pre-disturbance. <coughs> um, pre survey, so I can't tell for sure, um, but I don't know where else it would have gone. There is a drainage divide um, in the lower part of the property. It's right about here. This is a swale hill along the edge of the uh, stop and trap property, and then it kind of comes into our property. There's a high point, which again, it may be here actually, and this flows down around beside the parking lot and then behind the parking lot. Then it goes by Murphy's property and then out into that massive detention basin that's associated with stop shop. And I think a portion of it comes here. There's a flat end section here, which I think takes it into the closed system for the stop and shop, but I don't know for sure. So that's the, that's the remainder of the design mm -hmm. is really to, to figure out um, how to attenuate the flows. I don't think the front's going to be a problem. Um, the back, it's a matter of size in the detention basin and, um, and also trying to keep um, any adverse impacts on the stop and shop. I mean, that's obviously a, um, a consideration and concern of, of the um, of RK Center. So um, we want to be mindful of that. Looks like it's a, it's a big film job, uh, Peter. Um, not too bad. The, the, this, all of this, well, this area here, Tom, yeah. is really associated with the septic. So whether whether okay. this whether this area was developed or not, this this yeah. is going to be earthwork right here. This see how it flattens yeah. out here, adjacent to the parking. Right. That's right. why it's because the the system lays like this. Okay. And it's a pretty good sized system. I don't think it will have to be. Yeah. Yeah. Just it, it looks like you got you got quite a slope between the two parking areas. Yeah. Between the road, it looks like it's a four or five foot drop. It does. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Is that true now? No, th no this this area around. doesn't exist. No. This no, area no, here is all pavement as it as it stands now. Um, there's a grass area here. This opens up. There's pavement here, and then there's a loading dock as you come in and walk oh, down. Okay, so that that's right in there. That's going to be filled, so it's level with. This will all be at the same level into here. Okay, and then there's going to be a lower parking level. Okay. This is actually higher. Oh, it's higher. Yeah, because to get over the septic system. Right. Oh, okay. Okay. There's some. Did you see the letter? Yeah. So we so we have a letter here from RK Centers asking us basically to um, cancel the temporary approval um, until the um, 
until the full site plan is remediated. Um, but do we need to do that? Because when are you going to start work on the on the on the site? Um, well, we have to come to the board, and you know we have the, the hearing process and so on. So, um, as I said, we the, the the goal is to submit by the end of the month. Probably got two weeks worth of work. I'm away for a week, unfortunately, but um, so that takes us just about to the end of the month, and then there's the hearing process. So, yeah. however long that takes. So the work, um, they're going to come in and do site work for the Board of Health for yes. the septic plan, and then they're going to have to come in and do, so they're not going to end up with their equipment sort of there all at once. To We're do hoping to kind of time it that way so that it kind of keeps the cost down. Because I've been sending him, or Peter's been sending me, so he kind of knows where What the some ultimate of the goal is, is in be, terms yeah. of the um, grading. Yeah. So that some of the site work can be done all at the same time. Yeah, sure, yeah. And you guys saw the letter, so you're, no? Uh, I didn't see, I'm not sure, actually. Well, there was an email. Yeah, it sent to you. One, yeah. I mean, I have, I can print out more. When, when was that date, Andy? January 10th. January 10th. Oh, I probably did. Yeah. No, I haven't seen anything recently. Madam Chair? Yeah. I wrote the letter. I'm oh. Dave Baker from RK Centers. Oh, Mr. Baker. Our position is we want to we we saw that the there's two different projects here. One is the septic system, which we knew had gone through the Board of Health and got yeah. approval, which is great because we had a failed septic system that was overflowing onto our property. Yeah. And the second is stormwater drainage. And what we're maintaining is that the area that was clear to make the expansion mm -hmm. should have gone through full site plan review yeah. and stormwater should have been addressed, and it wasn't. And so we're saying, because we saw no action all winter, I kept checking with Matthew, have, have stormwater plans been submitted? Yeah. And was told no, told no, told no. Right. And we said we're willing to cooperate as good neighbors, provided we see forward progress. So I'm very happy to hear that Merrill's now been re-engaged and that plans are forthcoming. But our hook with you guys is that until a full set of plans comes to you, until it's peer reviewed, until you can have your hearings and, and look at the mitigation and, and the pre-construction, post-construction flows, um, you know, that they that extended permit, and with all due respect to the operator, because I know he's trying to run a business, but with all due respect, I have to insist that you don't extend his operational parking permit unless this gets teed up and through the process, and, you know, there's an opportunity to peer review it, and for us to look at it with our experts, and I'm sorry that it, that they wasted the entire winter and that they're only bringing plans in now, but the reality is we were here I think last summer before this board saying, you know, we got a problem. The water, you know, they cleared the trees, the, the, they filled it with uh, recycled asphalt, made it basically an impervious surface, and all that flow and all the snow storage is coming onto us and Oak Street. And how long do I wait? before I, you know, stop being a good neighbor and, and say, come on. So I have to come back to this board and say that temporary permit and that expansion parking lot and the scope of work that was done, I don't think I would have been allowed to do that in, in almost any town I operate in. So I'm scratching my head, understand that he has a parking problem, he has a business, and that you guys were being nice. But now we have to get Merrill full speed ahead and get a submission to you and get the process, the peer review process done and the planning board process done and see what comes out the other end. And hopefully that can get done before your, your deadline, which I think probably not at this point. You know, it's coming up pretty fast. And that's why I wrote the email to Matthew. I called Matthew every month and said, Matthew, have they submitted plans yet? And I did send him emails and I did ask him to share those emails with the board. And, you know, I still have to, I know that they, I don't, I want to look into some things that I, you know, based on Peter's conversation, I have complete trust in Merrill, and for the record, I use Merrill, I just had them do a Dunkin' Donuts pad for me in Kingston, so I, they're a very great company, and full confidence when the final package comes out, it'll be a quality product, mm -hmm. but it's not out yet. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm here before this board saying, we have to turn up the heat to make sure the applicant submits his plans and goes through the proper procedure to have the work product, you know, uh, reviewed. And hopefully all is, I'm sure the design will work at the, in the end of the day. But, 
you know, I think we've been more than patient and the water, because of the way they clear the parking with all the snow, they just pile it up right at the top of the hill on the property line. It's still coming down onto us. Um, I have offered to Merrill, I have all CAD files of all those drainage basins and all those pipes and all the mass highway easements with us because I own all that property or my company does. Mm -hmm. And I've offered to share it to make their design, you know, that's thousands of dollars worth of engineering and CAD you know, mm -hmm. that I'm willing to give them to make their project go faster. Mm -hmm. Nobody's asked me for it. So I wasn't aware that offer was on the table, David. I said it the last time I was here, Peter. You know, well, first time I did, first maybe. time I met you, I said, <clears throat> I'm trying to be a good neighbor. I just, I want this guy to have a successful business. You see, we have a basketball logo, so we're pro basketball and sports and things like that. So I'm, I'm trying not to put a guy out of business, but it's been months. And, and Merrill didn't get the green light to do the stormwater design. Well, it was a situation on my end there. I mean, there was a delay of about a month and a half where I just had to see if I could afford the septic. And the septic was just no, outrageous I... cost. And it was just like, can I afford to do it? And I talked to probably 30 different contractors. We have one contractor that is letting me finance a portion of it. Um, but on that, to be able to, f to do the finish the septic, I need that parking or else I can't pay them. That was yeah, the issue was there. I hear um, you, but at the same time, I have an issue downstream, a butter issue, and those those um, outlets that are showing, I'm not sure, you know, if you can design it so there's no more flow going there, pre-construction, pre pre-clearing, then post, I'll sit here and smile and tell the board I'm happy as can be. But I have to see the design, and the design hasn't been done, and I know you're trying to afford the septic, but that engineering for the stormwater in the parking lot could have been going on this whole time, and it didn't. Well, I, well, I just, I had to pay Merrill for the septic design, and it was like, am I paying to do, finish this design if I couldn't afford to do the septic? So it's kind of like, uh, yeah. can I just hold off so I can figure out if I can afford to pay that? So we finished paying them off for the septic design and he's doing this design here. Um, I mean, I don't know how quickly we can get this done, but it's kind of like I'm in the catch-22. Well, where's the property owner? Sorry? Where, where, what's the property owner's role in this? I mean, there's some responsibility on part of the person who owns this piece of yeah. land. Essentially, it's a land lease right now that I have with them. Essentially, I'm responsible for everything that's going on there, the building, the property, and everything. Okay. So, I mean, he's been gracious so I could pay Peter. I was like, hey, don't pay me this month the rent. Get this done so that you can get this done so that the site work is done. So, <clears throat> I'm still collecting from the fall. As you're aware of the issues there, the people that all say, oh, we're not paying you because we had to use the porta parties. We had to use this. I'm like, you played the whole season. You know, can you just. So, I'm going to catch 22, and now it's our busy season, is the spring. So, so you're doing a lot of improvements to this owner's property. Yeah. That if you walk away, he's going to have all of these improvements. Yeah. I mean, that's, I mean, this is yeah. everything. Yeah. It's quite a lease. Yeah, I, I mean, that's quite a lease. Yeah, it's quite a lease. Yeah, quite a lease. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. 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 yeah, no, I, I just, I mean, that's, yeah. that's a good deal for the landowner. Yeah. Because well, but ultimately the owner is... The owner and just like the water department you, you lean the owner you don't lean the tenant right you know so if you guys have an issue i think you can bring the owner and i understand he's got a great lease with them but I, again i'll leave this meeting tonight and i'll check in with matthew and i'd like to see these plans and hear that they got submitted and that's progress and if that happens great so when what is the deadline right now just so i understand i think march 9th March 9th is the deadline? Yeah, okay. for the temporary for permit. The board's, yeah, one year sort of temporary permission and approval of the, the and expanded you parking area. You said 30 days for the submission? Yeah, I mean, it's, um, and I appreciate your offer, Dave. I misunderstood. I didn't realize you actually had the drainage as well. Um, it's just, <coughs> there's a lot of moving wheels. Mm. Um, I hate to say two weeks, I hate to say it'll be in by the 9th and then. You know, something happens and I'm three, three or four days behind the eight ball. And as of next week, I'm on vacation for a week. Mm -hmm. um, 
and I'm sure John doesn't want to hear that, but it, yeah, is, is there somebody else in the office that can do it so that we yeah, can Yeah, well, it's not very efficient when the guy who's been responsible for most of it leaves. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so just, um, and I'm not sure that that it's going to produce a better product. No, I, I want to see Peter stay on it. I want to see a comprehensive set of plans and stormwater calculations, and I'm going to want to have them independently reviewed. I'm happy if you guys... Frank, frankly, I'd, li I'd, I'd like to grant an extension. For one month. That's reasonable, well, but I just want right. you guys to hear yeah, from me. To, to get, the, to get the, the plans drawn and submitted <coughs> so they can be reviewed so that... Uh, yeah, yeah, at this point with the calendar, there's no other way. Right. Well, I'm thinking... Because it it's not going to help no matter, I mean, by, by yeah. stopping. Yeah, what are we going to yeah. say, Tom? My, my question is, the septic's been approved. Mm -hmm. when, do, when do you anticipate starting doing the septic? They had their tree, out, tree guy out there last week mapping out, yeah. and he's going to start, I believe, within the next couple of weeks. Because I told him our tournament season starts that last weekend in March, you have right. the fishing so, and so rod. You know, when the your septic system isn't going to be built until probably the end of April. Uh, he said about three weeks until we have an operational septic system approved by the Board of Health from when okay. he starts. Right. And then he just said the, the grading and the soil and the grass yeah, and all not, that yeah, but that's would not, be that's afterwards. That's not the yeah. septic system. That's yeah. in addition to the septic system is all the grading that goes around. You're probably looking at when, Peter, you're probably looking at a month before you get plans to us. Well, I was well, yeah, actually. I mean, we'll meeting. have them submitted by the end of the end of March. Yeah. So, Tom, I was just saying that we give a month for them to get the plans and the application in. Right. Okay. And then if they get the plans and application in within a month, then we would consider. Then we, let's revisit. And it, then we right. would consider okay. an extension right. to give us right. time for the review <coughs> process, and we would take a look at. We would revisit it in a month. That, that sounds fair. Does that seem fair? You okay with that? You could get it done in a month. Yeah, I think that's You could get the site plan fair. application in in a month. You like know said, that we I'm, have a short I'll leash be here. here. I'll be here. I just want to keep it on a short leash so we see forward <coughs> progress and we get to the promise land. Okay. All right. All right so, so does that work for everyone? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. You want to make a motion? Well, the motion I was going to make was to um, wait 30 days until we consider a uh, extension of the Mar of the March 9th date. In other words, uh, wait until we get submittal within 30 days before we make a decision to extend it. But well, then we, we have, have to give an extension. Oh, that's right. Expires. We have okay. to give an extension of 30 days <coughs> from March 9th. All right, so I'll, I'll make a motion that we make an extension of 30 days for the um, to April 9th. For the use, for the use of the site. So it would be April 9th. To April 9th. Yeah. Um, and we expect, uh, you know, and then we'll revisit it on that date if we have the submission in. If we have the submission in, yeah. Well, may I, and subject to 30 day extension to give the applicant time, time to, to submit a stormwater package yeah. for the board's review. Right. Okay. Yeah. Well, the only way we'll reconsider. Um, extending beyond April 9th is if we have received we have the application, right. the full application with the engineered plans for the stormwater right. management at the site. Basically the site plan application. Site plan application with the engineered plans. So are we clear on the motion? <laughs> so you want to restate the motion? <laughs> yeah. So I make a motion that we extend um, until April 9th the deadline for submission of the plan and an extension until April 9th of the temporary permit, correct? Yeah. Okay. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, so sounds like we have a plan going forward. We have, you have time to get it in and go on vacation. Okay. Yeah, we'll definitely go on vacation. <laughs> <laughs> you have, have a deadline that gets a short too. leash, uh, <laughs> and you'll keep up with it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right, great. Thank you very much. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. I'm making a So now we have See, a, a form A coming okay. in. Okay. Who are you, sir? Uh, I'm Adam uh, I'm going to be their state review state engineer. Okay. The okay. No, the state. Actually, we're... The country. Yeah. So you'll be the airport. Um, you have a no have fire list. A, a form A plan that I think the board was considering tonight. Yes. I haven't seen it, so we have it.
Thank yeah. you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. He didn't go play for another club, did he? I'll be happy. I don't want to know. Duxbury is doing. Um, yeah. Duxbury has a group over at Starland, and his oh, friends are that swear team. at me and everything. <laughs> what is great. Thank you. And so he went with his friend. All right. All right. All right. You want to get me in here tomorrow? I would no, absolutely. Actually, tomorrow his I'll coach left, office, though, last tomorrow, season. Wednesday, Who, Matt? I'm probably the only one. Um, no. Uh, uh, Tim? Scott. Oh, Scott Alexander? Yeah. Oh, he's still there. Right. Oh, he's, he's still part-time, yeah. From, he's got a, he's a minister, so he's doing his flock. He's organizing. <laughs> So, but mostly he, he wanted, he's going to go with that Duxbury crew so that he can play with his friends. All right, that won't be too hot for him. He'll come around again. <laughs> Thank, um, you. Thank you. You're on time. Yeah, we're on time for 8.30. Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't see them yet. Um, but the uh, Russell Field is here if you want to switch the... Uh, Was 8.30 the format? Yeah. yeah. Do you oh, have that's what I'm here for. Oh, you're you here for the, the format. Mile. Yeah, the Mylar's here, the, the application's here. So, Peter's here. here for the format. Yeah, actually, I guess you guys could look at it. Um, no, no, if you Peter, want. are you here? Peter's yes, I'm here for the format. Oh, I'm sorry, so they're not He's here for the applicant. Yes. Oh, okay. Yeah, All right. yeah, yeah. I, I thought yeah. they would be coming. Okay, let me say. So, here's the, uh, here it is. Uh, oh, oh, Peter, don't Thanks, Tyler. Talk to you later. Thank you. Yeah, sorry. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Thanks for coming. Yeah. Hey, Good to see you. Good to see you. We'll be in touch, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, that's a very simple one, I think. Okay. Yeah, I think the, the whole intent, uh, my understanding, is that um, this gentleman here, or this family here, sold this parcel to this person so that they can put a pool in and leave the setbacks. Uh, oh, so it's really just a little piece of land? Oh, yeah, just this piece of land. This, this piece here? Correct. Oh, okay. And it's still, it, it doesn't make the lot, it doesn't make this lot non-conforming right. in any respects. And it makes that one more conforming. Correct. And it gives them room to put in <laughs> or a, makes a pool conform or whatever for the, the setbacks, they want. So they don't mm -hmm. need to the ZBA for any kind of variance. Exactly. That was the goal. That's All great. Right. Just probably better. Okay. We like that. Yeah, so, it seems easy. So were they currently non-conforming then? They were no, they, no, were, they, they just want to put in their pool. Oh, yeah. I see, so they want to they, become... They wouldn't meet the setbacks. Yeah. I think there was a shed that they were thinking about doing. But that that's... This yeah. is very it's unusual. A, yeah. It's a very... Yeah. We never get yeah. someone yeah. to come in and make it conform. And I'll, make a, <laughs> I'll make a motion that we have the clerk sign the, uh, the A-form. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 That's almost too wrong. <laughs> I had nothing to do with it, but uh, I'd like to take credit for it. But. Yeah, right? Wow. That's terrific. I was thinking about this today. Yeah. Yeah, we need to talk. Uh, okay, so... 26? Yeah, 26. That was easy. Thank you, Peter. Yeah, good. Let me see that. This one, this one. Yeah. Well, Mr. Field is here. We, we, we can get started on this early. Which is great. Yeah, um, they're in the hall, I just grabbed them. Great, so I think you're all set up. You can take this. Uh, that's right, yeah. Oh, that's all right. Um, this is quite they, something. They, what happened? Did they approve they approved it tonight? It. They approved it, yeah. He approved it? They approved it. I mean, I haven't read it, so the bottom line is they approved it. They approved it, yes. As <coughs> Absolutely, yeah. What's that? The, uh, the water street. Yeah. 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 But, it, interesting, read, read that, because it's got some conditions in it. Um, but they're, they're typical 40B conditions. But we may want to have a conversation with the ZBA about conditioning this. Well, why can't, what do you mean why can't, why can't, why can't yeah. they go to the, why can't they go to the 23 units? Bingo! Good night, folks. Thanks again. Good night. Thank you. Bingo. 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 I circled Bingo. 20. Bingo. I circled the number 23, Bingo. and I looked at uh, no less than. Right. <clears throat> 14. 14. Go to the 23 so we're compliant and stops it all. Exactly. That's what they should do. Yeah, yeah but. 56 units. Can it be required? Yes. Or would the applicant Z have to agree to it? Yes. ZBA. ZBA is the one you can put that right in. Okay, so do we need to see if we can... Mm -hmm. um, uh, have a meeting with the CBA about I, this? I think we should. Okay, so do you want me to uh, ask them for a joint meeting, or do we want someone to go to their meeting? 
We can have a joint meeting. We've been told that several times. I wouldn't want to end up in a lawsuit over it. I would no, no, send no, a member with the board's recommendation. No, we, we've been told by the we've it's been told be explicitly decision. that we can have joint meetings. Yeah, I think as long as each board, you know, properly posts the agenda and stuff. We, right. we asked would, that question of town council several times. No, no, I don't trust town council. But anyway, <laughs> <laughs> I think we're better off talking to them and. and and letting them know our concerns and right. ideas than not. And it's still going to be their decision. No, I understand. I think it's probably good if the bo this board has a discussion, comes up with what they want, and then has uh, somebody of the chairman go Okay, we can go do it that way. We do it that way there. It's not the, uh, Or we could have a letter from the chair, yeah. um, you know, talking about our discussion and some right. of the things that we thought about. Right, because originally, remember, they told us we could take in, the boards could have input with, uh, through a uh, letter based on what our concerns were about that proposal. But, but when they're making a ruling on it, uh, they're gonna, it's going to come before them. Well, I, it, may, it may not be something you want the board... Well, we don't want to be a part of that. Correct. We don't want to be part of that hearing. No. No. And that's why I'm saying even a meeting ahead of that. Yeah, you kind of want to informally say this is what the board thinks. Yeah. It would be a good option. And it would be an informal meeting. It wouldn't be a, a you know, a It wouldn't be hearing. a public hearing, but yeah. it would be a, an open meeting. Yeah. An open meeting as opposed to a public hearing. So um, are we going to ask them to have an open meeting with us, or are we going to try to formulate a letter? Right. And if so, what are we going to put in the letter? I think the easiest way would be to formulate the letter and just forward a letter to them. Right. Yeah. But I, w I would suggest that you... <coughs> Even if you do the letter, I'd still suggest that you at least send one person to sort of right. verbally talk right. to them because it really, you know, otherwise it's sort of scary yeah. to forget it. But to have yeah. a person I, I, actually... I, I don't necessarily know you want to have it. But if something came down and, and you know, it's like the planning board's trying to uh, have... Conspire with the, the CPK. <laughs> Correct. For better zoning. Correct. <laughs> trust me, trust me. And better decisions. Trust me, because... <laughs> you, you, especially if we're asking for the you're asking for the applicant to actually lose. Yeah, well, I think limits. I think a, I think a, um, a good compromise here would be the letter and a presentation by the by the board chair to have okay. a discussion. Right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. All right. So, but we have to talk about what that letter would look like. Yeah. But for now, we have um, Mr. Fields here with the. Um, Discussion on the site plan. Well, we already voted on the orders of condition. So the signing of decision, including conditions for previously approved site plan. So what are we? The conditions have been written. Just to clarify, um, I missed vote, one meeting. I and feel like I'm and voted out of it. <laughs> yeah. So in talking with Russell, um, he was of the opinion, and I think he's correct. Uh, it makes sense that it would be be better if the conditions mentioned that the existing use is there, or at least refer to it in some way, either say it's allowable or at least state that it's there, which prob which I probably should have included on the uh, the original version of the, of the decision and condition. Let me ask you this. The, um, did the petition, so in your, your, um, In, in this summary, Matthew. Yeah. On this page, the the initial petition for site plan approval did it mention current business operations? Um, Do we have the I site guess, plan application in front of us? I guess maybe only in the sense that it showed it on the drawings. Um, well, the application would have discussed you know, one of the things that all yeah. <coughs> that, that was established at the beginning of the process. Yeah, do, you, do you have the site plan application? We can take a quick look. I, think I, do. I have it here. You know, I think for, for most of these site plans and submissions, part of the problem is that the you applications don't generally don't say much about use necessarily. You know, so maybe we need to fix that in our application. Hmm. Can you take a quick yeah, I mean the actual application is. Uh, Can I just take a look at yeah, the file? Sorry. Yeah, sorry. Mm -hmm. I think probably the original drawings probably showed the, uh, which of course were part of the application. I'm looking for the cover letter that came with it. 
Well, isn't the use? Sure, there was. Isn't that's why they come to us to take, make sure they're in the right? No, it is right there. Actually, actually, uh, it's in the yeah. it's in the public Sorry. hearing notice, guys. The public hearing notice says this access is to serve the current business operations on the site, the storage of empty dumpster containers. Okay. So that was in the notice. Well, that's what I wrote. But actually, here is this was with the application. Right. I assume, and that actually does explain. Uh, I guess I assume it's it's been established. established. Correct. Existing container storage area. You've been there for how many years? Eighteen. Eighteen years? No, 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 no. <laughs> but but my concern is that we gave the, the only public average notice, average. notice, and we did give the public notice of that as part of what we were considering on this site. Yeah, yeah, I see. Do you see what I'm saying? I absolutely see what you're saying. Yeah. Yes. <coughs> so the public got notice. Right. That that we were considering an application to provide access to the existing yes, right. current business operations, the storage of empty dumpster containers was in our notice to the public as part of the public <coughs> hearing process. So in that sense, you were very prescient, Matthew, <laughs> to make sure that that was very specifically stated. Um, it should, I think it should say in the storage, you know, because it's, the business is not the storage of containers. It's just Part of my equipment. Right. right. Okay. That's what we. But that's been established. Right. It's just as part of the site plan. It's it's there. You don't have a recycling center there. You have a empty container lot. Yeah. All this is, all this is my, my equipment. From my right. yeah. So we're, we're all signed off on it. Did we sign them the last time? No. <clears throat> no. Oh, did we? We didn't no. sign. We approved them. And yeah, then he was going to write at them the up. Time I just showed you and he's been approved. Yeah. Right. And was everyone that's here yeah. here for the approval? Yeah, apparently the four of us. Okay. So See, this is complicated by the fact that, and I hadn't seen this letter before actually, or I don't recall seeing it. George Berry sent them a letter in November that said it's come to our attention that the property is not in compliance. The planning board is waiting for your submission of a site plan. And the zoning board is waiting for your submission of a special permit for outdoor storage. But the special permit for outdoor storage under our bylaws would be the outdoor storage of goods for sale. For sale. Yeah. yeah. Not yeah. the outdoor storage. storage of equipment used in a business. And we can and we can decide whether that we is can required give a or that's, not. That's where he's stuck. Yeah. And we do not see and that we, as being required under the no. bylaws. Right. So we're giving site plan approval without conditioning it upon exactly. a special permit. Right. Because any any change in any required. change in use would require another site plan. Exactly. Yeah, just in general, anytime there's a change in use on any site plan, it requires a new site plan. So how how do we um, wrap this up? So I think uh, so I think that what Matthew is proposing going back to I'm giving you a file back so you don't accuse me of stealing it. Um, <laughs> So what Matthew's proposing is that in a couple locations on the decision um, <coughs> that we would refer to the existing use of the site, maybe we should say including the storage of empty dumpster containers. Isn't that the total use of that property? There is no other use, correct? No. Yeah. Okay. Just my business system. That's what you do. You, you drop them off, you pick them up. You don't have like an office there, right? No. Oh, no, no. Okay. No, the office is situated. It's just, uh, it's a dead we just run the, the company out of it. Okay. Just a um, so Matthew's proposing that we um, refer to the dumpster containers in a few locations, but otherwise I take it you guys at the meeting, I missed already read through all of these conditions. Yeah. So the question is whether or not we will approve a modification of the decision of the board to include the length, the highlighted language, specifically referring to the current business operation on the site, the storage of empty dumpster containers, as indicated in the draft dated 226. Did you make that as a motion? I'm asking if that's the motion someone would want to make. <clears throat> well, I, I'll make that motion if we can approve it and get it printed out and sign it. 
Tonight. Tonight. I okay. got it, yeah. Matthew, can you? I've got both. I've got both options, actually. Okay. <laughs> All right. Oh, we got both options. I do, yeah. All right. So we have the option to, if, if, if that motion I, is I, made and approved, then we will sign the decision tonight. Yes. With the modified language. Can I sign, even though I wasn't here to vote the approvals last time? Yeah, you're, you're voting for the modification. <laughs> Okay. I granted site plan approval, but I wasn't here to vote the decision, the, yeah, conditions. the conditions. But we, right. Aren't we redoing the conditions? We're redoing the conditions. Right. That's my problem. And we don't really need to redo the conditions. But basically, <coughs> by just well, we're, by we're going, going by to, this, we're going to change it, and therefore should be allowed to sign it. I guess so. Aren't we, aren't we signing the, the auction with all the conditions on it tonight? Yes. yes. Okay. All right. So how about we we vote to to sign the decision with the conditions as amended in Matthew State tonight. So moved. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, Matthew, we need a decision to sign. All right. I got it. <laughs> that was hard, guys. Yeah. <laughs> um Interesting. Um, let's see what else there was on here. Oh, so we have a public rec This is actually a pretty important administrative matter, which doesn't affect you, but we'll start to move on while we're signing, if you don't mind. <laughs> yeah, so you guys don't I don't mind at all. You've done your work. Yeah, you've done your work. Um, so there was a public records request regarding 346 Washington Street, and there's a request for our minutes. We're behind in approving minutes, and so the question is whether we should release a draft version of the minutes, or can we sign any of those minutes tonight? The question is, is that if you had a full board, it, it, wouldn't those people have to be here? So technically, we've been told that we can... We'd have to approve them, number one. Technically, we've been told that we don't need the same members of the board to approve minutes. Yeah, as well, the people who attended. But well, I, I also don't well, want the optics of making it look like we're stonewalling the No, no, but how, but how? They're a public record. But my question is, is that how can you approve something when the a person that wasn't that was sitting at the meeting isn't here to say, yeah, that's exactly what I said. But if we have a quorum present to approve them. No, I understand that. But if you have a quorum of people who who weren't totally at that meeting. You see where I'm going? Yeah. No, but we always have to have a quorum of the members present at the meeting for the minutes. Yes, although the town council has told us that's not true. Well, we always do it that way. I know. The town council <coughs> so we do it that way. We do it the right. way Paul's okay. recommended. Right. 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 Just because it's, <coughs> because, you know, someone could later say, is that I, I, I wasn't there when they took that. That is not exactly what I said. Oh, that, we, we should take that really seriously the approval of the minutes on a timely basis because right. they're on a public record. Right. So you have to make sure that like, people show up to this meeting. Yeah, that would help. Okay. <coughs> okay. So, at the, at the present, I can't solve the, the issue of, of having a sufficient quorum to approve minutes. But, so, so I, would make, I, would, I would recommend that we approve the minutes in question in order to be able to release them to the public record. Okay, so which in minutes case, do we have? So just to, yeah, I've got them all. Just to clarify one thing, uh, either, I mean, either way they're going to release, be released, uh, it's just a question of whether we release draft or approved version. Um, but if we can release an approved version, I think it's that's better. better. I think it's definitely better, yeah. 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 Uh, but yeah, otherwise we, we have to force it required to release the But I also don't want to make it look like we're holding up the release of minutes. Yeah, I think that's especially we're not doing in this it on case, purpose. the optics right. are not Don't we have to yeah, sign the last the page attention. as well as that other well, page? You start. I think so. Oh, yeah. Um, and also, I guess, sign the drawings as well. Just the first page. Just, uh, just one page? Yeah, just, just, leave it there. We'll come yeah, just, just the first it. page of each of the three sets. Yeah, sign this first. Oh. Yeah. And yeah, Can we just sign with a regular pen? Yeah, yeah, they're not my weapon, so okay. thanks. And we're going to keep a copy. Does that work? Are we signing this as of 226? 
Uh, yeah, I think just put today's date on it. Yeah, makes sense. Thanks. Jeez, I thought I thought you guys would have two numbers here tonight. At least. So Dan was sick, and. He sent a text today that he was sick. I'm not sure what's going on with him. Well, we, we know what's going on with Jim. Jim. <laughs> He's out of town. He's out of town. But usually that hasn't been this close of an issue. Because usually we have... So you got something running? Some I, I got to make sure he yeah, takes right. the papers out. Yeah. Who? yeah, I think John Scholl's. Yeah, that's what Marianne told me too, that he's gonna run. So that's what Marianne said. Who's gonna run? Do you know Susie? Uh, John yes. Schultz or Schultz? She's in the PDF stuff. Oh, Andy, do you know him? Yeah, I know him. You all right? Yeah, Is sit back. Is he on the board of He lives on my street. He does? Was his neighbor? Yeah, he's on the street. No, no, that's Suzanne Scroggins. <laughs> that's who I was thinking of. Okay, I don't know anything. I think you're on the wrong, the wrong board. All right. Um, so, do we have minutes? Well, yeah, I can. I got them all here. Uh, He's on the Republican tab for me. Okay. All right. What else you got, boss? Um, these minutes is the big thing. Oh, okay. Oh, my God. So, December 4th, Andy, Paul, Brian, and Dan. <laughs> December 18th, Becky, Tom, Paul. Do you have to sign him? I uh, just say it happened. Oh. You can't vote him unless you see him. Okay. No, Andy. Okay, this is the problem. Uh, we don't, we don't, for the December 4th and December 18th hearing meetings, we don't have a quorum of people who are present at that meeting. But we can still vote the minutes. We can. Mm -hmm. If Paul is willing to. Well, no. Well, no, I'm just, I'm just bringing up how. But this is a question. Do, for this, do we just need a majority of the people who are present tonight or a majority of the board? We can vote the minutes. Any, well, town council has advised us that we can vote the minutes regardless of, of who was present yes. if we've got a quorum of the board. Yes, we have been told that. And everyone can read the minutes and decide whether they want to approve them. Our practice has been to only approve the minutes with a quorum of oh. those present. Right, people who were there. Right, who were there. Sorry, and, for, I'm sorry, for a site plan approval, it's okay just to, the board just decide the first page, right? I think, because I mean, they've got the stamps on, they've got the signature stamps on the other pages well, too, but I don't think that's the we just have to sign in. Well, we will follow in your direction. Yeah, yeah, yeah I think in the past they're the first page. <laughs> I don't think that should be okay. So I think you guys are all set up, I believe. So you can get one of these. I'm sorry, I just wanted to. Yeah, yeah, finish that up. Yeah. So the January 22nd and February 5th. We have four of us here tonight who are at both of those meetings. Okay, let's do those so those two we're, we have no problem with. December 4th and December 18th is where we're... Where, the actual decision um, okay. Andy, you were the person who was not there on December 18th, so you could choose to vote on December 18th even though you weren't Thank you very much, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, guys. Thank you. Take care. Um, December 4th, Andy and Paul were here, so Tom and I would be making a decision to vote on minutes we were not present for. Um, Paul actually was at all four of these meetings, so it's not so, a dilemma for him. <laughs> yeah, I, just, yeah, I, 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 gotta, I gotta get I gotta find out what these people are doing. Did, did he abstain? But he can still vote the minutes. He can still vote the minutes. He can still vote the minutes. So And who's asking for these? 
Um, I think the, for a the abacus group is asking uh, yeah. for these minutes. This December 4th has nothing to do with... Well, 346. Yeah, yeah. yeah I can't 346. Yeah. But I'll go okay. after you get the original one, actually. Okay. Yeah. I think you need to clean them up. Well, yeah, we should clean it up anyway. Yeah. yeah. All right, now. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, there, there's nothing with the 246 there. Sounds good. Okay, thank you. All right. Tom, I'll probably be in touch with him like in the next two or three days, definitely. Sounds good, thanks. Yeah, so I guess the minutes, just let me know which ones you want me to do. Well, I don't have a, I'll make a motion to accept the minutes of uh, December 4th. Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Yeah. That was that all of them, so. Yeah. Right. That was yeah, that one. I chaired, I chaired that one. I, I don't even remember doing that. <laughs> it's only December 4th. <laughs> yeah, I was sick as a dog. You know, we, that's right. You know, we, we sick that time. We, we, put, a, yeah, we put a business in town to take care of that. Take care of what? Uh, short time memory. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> I, 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 <laughs> what'd you say? What? What? Did you bring that up again? <laughs> <laughs> There's a, a what business? <laughs> okay, uh, December 18th. Um, I wasn't here. You weren't here. This is one I've, I've, I've agreed to as well. Oh, you know what? I see a little typo. One what? accessory furnace building. Mm -hmm. It's not a furnace building. Yeah, I think it, I think it is. That's what they described it as, I believe. F-U-R-N-A-C-E? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like where they're going to put this, Dan was saying, for biomass or something. This little furnace to heat... I guess to eat the dough, I think. Yeah, it's probably, probably wood, it's on the wood burning yeah. stove. No, I thought there were going to be two office buildings on the same. Right, but there's probably the fuel source. Yeah, two buildings outside. consisting of total of... And, oh, uh, and plus the accessory yeah, building. Yeah, oh, okay, yeah, okay, okay. okay. Yeah. I thought that was one of the two buildings. Okay, I'm good. Okay. Yeah, I'm, yeah I suspect maybe it's like a... They'll have like a, like you said, a wood stove. So yeah, they feed in four foot, four foot, foot logs and things like yeah. that. It says he's got wood. You pump, anyway. pump the heat in. Oh. Hmm. Hmm. This one is a lot of work. Okay. Um, can we agree that the letters be appended to the minutes of the meeting? Yeah, so for this one, December 18th, are we still on December 18th? There was yeah. just the one letter. And then for the February Oh, and 5th, you did append it, okay. Yeah, for February 5th, I appended like three that. letters. Oh, excellent, okay. Okay, so do we have a motion to approve? Um, I won't make the motion since I wasn't here, but I'll vote. <laughs> I'll make the motion. Good. So we approve the minutes of I'll, I'll December 18th? I'll second. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay, so we have two minutes um, under our belt. Um, now January 22nd? Yeah. So January 8th actually already was approved. Uh, Oh my god, this one took so long to do, 12 pages. 
I need to get more efficient. I think I'm too much of a perfectionist for these moves. Yeah, this is like my this is like my masterpiece. <laughs> Castle, keep it down. Actually, this one, January 22nd, was the most sort of substantive meeting about the 346 in Washington. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're saying no, Mr. Galvin's meaning was unclear here? That feels a little editorial. Yeah, well, he, he left out, a f he like forgot to say a few words or something. Um, I mean, I can change it if you want. Um, yeah, I think we should, I, I don't like that. Mm -hmm. It was kind of weird, somewhere, so like, it'll be open from, it'll be open from like, six. five. Or six. Page six. I mean, it, honestly, it was like he kind of, I think he guess sort of got jumbled up a little bit as he was getting into the complexities of, I mean, what he said, I mean, I, I listened to the recording like three or four times and it just like. Right, but the note that the meaning was unclear, I think is an editorial note as yeah. opposed to simply saying what he did say or didn't say. So in this case, I'm thinking he said it would be permissible to insert a portion of Yeah, I mean, what, yeah, I could take it out. I mean, yeah. what he said was literally sort of... If he said literally bizarre. what's there... Then that's all we need to yeah. say. that's all we need yeah. to say. Yeah, I, but I, say. I think we remove the note. <coughs> Even though I can understand us saying it's not us who are incomprehensible. Oh, yeah. But that's not our... That's not our problem, really. Is the note up, um, my, the note I put in higher on page six, okay, where it says, on uh, the first that. paragraph of page six, uh, where I wrote, Mr. Gowan was presumably referring to the Yes, corner. take that out. Oh, okay. <laughs> but, yeah, because we're not, we, we, we shouldn't be inferring. It's not a yeah. fact. Yeah, okay, fair <laughs> enough, yeah. No, so no editorializing. Yeah, <laughs> normally I don't do that. I don't know why I should have just It places doubt on the facts. Wait. Even great painters had problems. <laughs> well, in fact, also on the top of the page, I put in another one of the. Uh... Oh, you want to roll, huh? Well, because he 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 put, it seemed like he was saying the wrong thing. That's but that's his job. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> 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 uh... He was supposed to report the news, not become the news. Yeah. Oh. Hey, what's the say? If the legend becomes fact, report the legend. Or <laughs> you guys seen? Yeah. Again, this actually seems to be on page well, eight. Just uh, for a little. Actually, it seems in the same sentences. A little. <laughs> no, but I don't think we should correct. <laughs> if he, 
Yeah, yeah, I can cross through that. I, I think you just take that all together. We don't need to be this specific. He quote from the zoning bylaws and then take out the, the reference to the page number. Yep. All together. Yep. He quoted from the zoning by bylaws which state that the agricultural use is and state what he quoted. But these things aren't a verbatim record of what happened. So if they want that they can get the tape. They can get the tape and do their own verbatim. Right. Yeah. There's a yeah. court reporter who will take the tape and turn it into a verbatim record. Right. Our goal is to at is to state the um, the goal of the minutes is just to give the so yeah the other public note. notice of what was discussed. Yeah, there's the other note here on yeah. page eight two. Ship Tech also did wood waste processing and mulch making. Yeah, again, that's it's only a record of what happened. It's not a brief of what. Mm -hmm. It's not like a legal brief where we're trying to build the case. Build the case for or against. So take out that one too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I think I'm a lot of the stuff I've done too much of a perfectionist. I'm gonna to try to be more efficient. Well all you gotta yeah. do all you gotta do is listen to the tape, I guess, and just take it down. I know it's hard enough. Yeah. Well yeah. no, I mean the other thing is sometimes I I've, I've seen plenty of minutes that just say in general. Term. Yeah, you know, a discussion ensued about this subject, right. period. Mm -hmm. And so there's always a question, and I think our town council wants us to be a little more inclusive mm -hmm. than that. Yeah. But, um, but the other doc the document you have is, okay. is the tape, so. Yeah, and like, um, I mean, I try to be aware that, mm -hmm. that what, it, you know, when I talk with the minutes, that is sort of, what people are going to refer to for a long time. I would uh, I would figure out I would figure out how much it costs to copy the tape. Because you're, you're going to be asked for it. Oh, you think we'll be asked for it? Oh my God, yes. Yeah, I mean the 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 request <laughs> everyone. <laughs> the, the the public records request we got <clears throat> it does include the recording, uh, so we'll give that. Mm -hmm. to them. But it's actually it's amazing how rarely we do get asked for the recording. I mean, this is the first time. This is the listen. You haven't been involved in getting sued before, so yeah, this will be the first time. Yeah, that this is this will go that route. Yeah, yeah, it's quite possible. Quite likely. You think so? Mm -hmm. Based I've been here. Based on what? Based on. You remember, people can people will sue your family, then, right? And this this these people are gonna take this to court. Um, Definitely. So on page eleven. Whether right or wrong. In the third paragraph. Um, the two site visits were of 346 Washington Street and the Marshfield operation. We did not have, we did not plan a site visit of the current operation on Mattachusett Street. No, we didn't. Oh yeah, that was just, yeah, I should probably leave that. I mean, that was what he suggested at the time, but then eventually the board didn't decide to do that. But I can take that out because it's, it might be confusing yeah, we, we didn't feel it. <coughs> So just two site visits.
motion to approve the minutes with those changes? Yes, I'll make a motion to approve the minutes with the uh, as amended. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, and then do we have February 5th minutes, Chen? Uh, yeah. Okay, it's past my bedtime. All right. Do it so quick. just do this real quick. And then the only other thing, does anyone have badges as a planning board member? Badges? No badges. So, so Sabrina was... Uh, Sabrina thought there may be some old badges hanging around from yeah. before my time. You don't need no stinking badges. Okay. To, uh, oh, for like sidewalks? No. Yeah. And yeah, apparently in the old days, some of the boards and commission members actually had badges. Uh, try, try to, uh, uh, Brian? No. Oh, Jesus. No. Oh, so you got, sure. you got the appended yeah. material here. Great. Yeah, no. yeah, this is the one that had a lot of, yeah. Good. Jim Jones? No. Oof. My mind just went blind. Who was, who was Matthew's predecessor? Oh, uh, Marilyn. Oh. Yeah, but she, uh, she was just in here just before I came in. Yeah. So it's 20. I don't know. I that would be, yeah, I don't think we ever had badges. Basically, apparently the selectman's office is trying to sort of get all the badges back, and there are just like a few people well, who they on, issue other, to? on other boards. I don't know, but there are a few people on some other boards who apparently are resisting turning in their badges because they enjoy it. I guess they like the feeling of like having a badge. Wow. wow. Yeah. <laughs> Does this, do they have any badges on Conco? No, they do not. Board of Health, though. Uh, yeah, so. yeah. yeah, but I think the Board of Health is a reason the Board of Health does. Yeah, they, 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 have, they have real badges, like police badges. No. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I think they do. Yeah, yeah, they do. Well, because they have some enforcement yeah. authority. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I guess the commissioners at one time, uh, DPW commissioners had them, but they, they were left. We never, we never received that. Yeah, so for the fifth, I appended all those, the various things. Um, you guys asked me to append. <coughs> but with the one exception at the very end, there was another 18 pages of, um, of attachments to the, the last letter that I, that I left out. Uh, but obviously I can add them if you want me to. Uh, okay, so Tom needs to get going. Did everyone have a chance to look through the minutes of um, February 5th? And we do have a quorum of, of members who are present on February 5th. And for this one, I'm pretty sure I didn't use any of those. I didn't see any. Yeah. Except for where I said C appended to this. There was one person who never said, never stated her name. I'm pretty sure it was Maureen Robinson, but I, I didn't want to say unless I was going to censure. checklist here of issues? Yeah, well, I do too, but yeah. Okay. Um, so I'll make a, a, a motion that we approve the minutes of February 5th, 2018 as submitted. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? No. Um, there's a decision on the ZBA granting urban oil variances in the folder that's probably going to become very pertinent to us. King Collision and Schuster Street is proposing to build a canopy covering several spaces in the parking lot with solar panels. Mm -hmm. Should they go through full site plan review process? It's on our agenda as informal um, for March 19th? I don't, I don't, 
because because the solar bylaw that we passed, I think they. I know, but you're putting the structure up. Oh, they're 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 going to build a structure. Be like sort of a canopy right. over they're going to build a. So they're not going to yeah. put it on top of an existing structure. Correct. That's and they right. need to do site plan. Yeah, yeah, but is it a full site that's, plan, or can normal. we do a reduced? <laughs> um, I know, but but the, a reduced the filing fee. If that's idea. all they're changing. Well, no, yeah. Why don't I? Have them come in March 12th, maybe. For an informal? Uh, informal. Just informal, okay. yeah, so you guys yeah. can okay. sort of discuss that, yeah. Um, decision on Mass Housing River Marsh, 40B. How are we going to handle my letter to ZBA? Are we, should I, what do we, we want to say? Can we, I would just, well, f first, uh, it's a, it, I think we need a little time to, to, to kind of go through it. I think everyone should read that letter from right. them. Okay. And then come to the next meeting with some things. Okay. And then we have a little time. When is yeah. there, when is there uh, hearing? When is there? Do they have a hearing yet? I don't think so. I'm not going to know. I don't think so. We're going to find out when the hearing yeah. is. You want to have, have a discussion prior to there are some There are some conditions that they've put in this uh Mass housing approval, but they're probably boilerplate as it relates to 40B. Correct. Um, but I, which is okay, but um, one of the reasons why they said yes to this is that Pembroke is short by 23 units. units. I think we need to ask for 23 units. And he's got 56 going in there, and I think we should ask for the 23. Yeah. Okay. That's almost half of his. It's all right, it doesn't matter. We can ask. Yes. We can ask. We can ask. Yeah. No, but we ask. can ask. Yeah. Or we can we can strategize about what to ask, how just, to ask. I just remember this though. Or you know just remember this. That the ZBA can also say that those units, the fourteen units, are permanently for uh, uh, um, you know, they don't sunset. They don't anyway, do yes, they? Yes they do. Yes, they do. Some of them sunset in 25 years. Depends on what the, the ZBA does. That's why it's not, that's why you lose, you're constantly losing. Besides the ones that are houses that are sold off by relatives who don't, they don't really, either they don't go down and follow the. They are being asked to do some things. They are being asked to do a, from this determination, to do an extensive traffic study. Right. Well, that's only because they're coming on to a very... Yeah, but there are some conditions yeah. here. Right. Um, Those are all the ones that were put into it. And I guess the, the, the DBA needs to explore them more fully during the public hearing process. Right. Those conditions, and we would, I think we would concur, we should read them and, con and concur with them. Um, the only other thing that wasn't, I think, on their proposal was originally the treatment plan. From remembering some of the conversations, that there's a treatment plant, wastewater treatment plant that has to be built. I don't necessarily know that shows up on plans. Uh, no, they say something about um, Title Five. I hope we're also applying to the state DOT for improving the roadway on Route 139. Yeah. Given this additional traffic. Well, first off, I think that may not be happen because they just did an improvement there. There? By Water Street? Yes. They just paid to put in they did yeah. the sidewalks. Yeah, they've already done that. They already did an improvement on 139. In that area? Yeah. Right down, right down from from uh, from uh, 50, 50 Frey down past to the lights. They right stopped really? the shop. Yeah. Yeah, they just resurfaced it uh, yeah. a couple of years notice. ago. A couple of years ago. Okay. Well, it doesn't take long. For, you know, all of a sudden, you know, it's like when you paint the house, and all of a sudden, yeah, it's it's there's smudges all over it. Yeah. <laughs> doesn't look as good. Yeah, but that was based on that improvement. They, they, that was not based on having an extra well, fifty-six first, units of housing in yeah, the but area. Not, think about it. What, what are you going to do? Are you going to put a light there? You have a diagonal water street that cuts across it. How are you going to make an improvement? What we yeah. really need yeah. is a better That's improvement at Cross Street. That whole Cross Street, um, that whole, you know, coming off of Cross Street, coming into 139. Where it goes from 2 to 1, there's always goes somebody who tries to, to pass That's maze. enough. Yeah. But the, 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 the problem is, is the way the original roads were laid out and how, it, how that is, the intersection there would be, think about it, be on a bias. It, it, 
Yeah, it become, it, it'd be very difficult. It'd be very a large. Uh, you have to put lights there. Mm -hmm. How are you going to make that improvement? We could. We could always put. A, we can't even get a light. We, at, we could put a, lot, a roundabout. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, that's a thought. That I would like to see. <laughs> All right. Um, uh, so we'll think about this, come back at the next meeting with some suggestions as to how we might we may also try to be heard on that. Take a look at that. Um, the ZBA also has that list of conditions that um, we talked about the last time we got together with them. They, they actually put one together for 40B proposals. We should just take a look at it. Oh. Yeah, sure. Can you get a copy of that? <clears throat> Sorry, say that again. They had a, a, they, yeah. ZBA had come up with a um, sort of uh, a set of rules for for forty B yeah. applications. Yeah. That was sort of a set of standard rules that I think Copeland and Page have prepared. Yeah. For this, them. Okay. Yeah, I remember this. And, yeah, and we we should have we've lost right. track of those. So if we could have them for that discussion about River Marsh, that would be, be helpful. Yeah. Because we we could make some suggestions to the, those will basically be the conditions and that. The things that they can condition right. under law. I mean, they may have to make some improvements on Water Street, widening from them to that intersection. You know, because the, it is narrow. It's very narrow. Um, I think the rest of this can wait, or we can yeah. try Actually, to do it offline. Yeah. Hmm. I think those are the so most urgent things we had to deal with tonight. About this today. About Bass yeah. House. Yeah. The three. Yeah. Yeah, now I think about it, who I walked by would have been affected. She was on Wall Street. Oh. I'm wondering, did they have a meeting tonight about it? There was uh, a very Con large meeting downstairs. I don't know what it was about. Do you? Well, well ConCom, uh, wait a sec, for... Well, ZBA, I'm thinking it might have been. I know the Oh, uh, was ConCom doing 346 Con Washington today? Yeah, yeah. ConCom was doing 346 on the select. <laughs> oh, so that's why it was credited there. <coughs> it wasn't. We oh, had was two it? people. It was for the selectmen. <laughs> the selectmen went in executive session for something relating to uh, River Marsh, actually. Uh, uh, so that's what I'm talking about. So people about. were here for River Marsh, but then they went into executive session and didn't really talk about it publicly. Right. That's okay. why they're in the hallway. Uh, okay. Right. So there may be more going on than we realize uh, as well. Yeah, but okay. we, but, we can still but we have encourage. a little bit of influence over this. Uh, well, we don't have any direct influence. We can over have it. input. We can, we can have input, right? Yeah, and apparently for River Marsh, also that apparently from what I've I've been told that then some of the neighbors have hired an attorney too, so they've got they're they're sort of going you know full blast, I guess. At River so. Marsh. Uh, it sounds like I mean they've got an attorney. I mean whether they actually. I mean, it's very it's difficult so I to find that once you get an approval. I'd imagine they'll be able to land this, the the this, this is process. such a, a, an approval. I mean, this, this, this right. is so clear. Yeah. It's well, a, and it's oh, easier it's just, for the, it's just going to the ZBA making the, the conditions. Because yeah. yeah. the neighbors, it just sounds like not in my backyard. Yeah. 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 Um, not in the box for those backyards. <laughs> well, I mean, that is such a really environmentally. Madam Chairman. Okay, um, place. may we let I'll Mr. Irvin go home? I'll make a motion to adjourn. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, great. I don't know, Matt, how you hooked me to come up here tonight. <laughs>